Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Spoofy here with the car, guys. I'm here with Angel Vega. You just got fifth place at the Atlanta. Fifth, uh, fifth place? Fifth? Fifth. 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 Uh, yeah. With fifth. Fifth. <laughs> Are you, exci fit. are you excited? Uh, you know, I, I like that. I taught with Medolces. Medolces. What this did I format, say? Everybody said Medolces was a dead deck. I proved them wrong. You know, mm -hmm. I could have took Satellites here. Could have took Shadows. Could have took Made a Burning Abyss without Dante's. Because I'm yeah. not going to spend 100 on Dante. Yeah. But, but you, you know. but you made Medolce. Yes, I brought my favorite deck and I did amazing. And against, you went 702, right? Yes, 702. I tied twice against Burning Abyss and against uh, Burning Abyss and my last game was Light Swarm. The Light Swarm guy? Yeah, okay. Light Swarm. Alright, well, let's get into this deck. I want to see this. Alright, well, um, I'm playing 15 Monsters. Yep. Uh, Triple Magdalene. Yep. Of course, it's a searcher. I mean, she's amazing. Triple Angeli. This card is... I can't, ex I can't talk about Angeli. She's just... She's the best card in the she's deck. She's the best de card in the universe. Like, if, <laughs> if this card, if Astro Pet gets ultis, they should have made this. I'm mad Yamato got an ulti reprint. They should have made this ulti. Uh, triple Hoot Cakes. Yep. Why triple? I've seen people playing double, but I'm seeing a lot of reprints in this format, and I'm like, Hoot Cakes is one of the cards I don't like drawing, Yeah. but it's one of the cards I like to get with an off Angeli. Yeah. Definitely like to get this keeps off Angeli. Keeps the combo Angelic. going. Yes, it keeps yeah. the combo going. It keeps my deck flowing correctly. Like That's what's up. I'm playing triple Mewplay. Why three? Uh, why three? Yes. As well, people play two, one. I've seen people not even run this. But okay. three, it, this card starts my combos as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I can open up this and Messenger Lotto and get a plus off of Messenger Lotto. I can open up this and Angeli and get two pluses off of that. Okay. I, I love this card. It's, it's a good card. That sounded gay, but it's not gay. I, I, I'm not gay. I'm straight, guys. I'm super straight. Okay. I love females. Shout out to all my females in the universe. I love y'all. You know, <laughs> all right, I'm playing triple. <laughs> I'm playing triple messenger lotto. Yeah. As well, people play two of these because it clogs. Trust me, it does when you draw two of them. But it, sometimes I've drawn. I, I cut them down to two in a previous profile I've done, and I did not like drawing both. Uh, drawing at least one of them because I yeah. like having him in deck to get my plus up. Okay. He's a good card, uh, nonetheless. How many monsters was that? That was 15. 15. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm playing double Chateau. Okay. Uh, just common stuff. I mean, double. I, I wouldn't cut this for nothing. Okay. Uh, double ticket. Why double ticket? Uh, very great question. Burning Abyss. Okay. You you want a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast? My Mufle? Okay. My ticket's still on the field. Okay. Uh, I'll search for Mufle again. I won't be dread drawing next time. You you're mad, bro? Uh, I just <laughs> laugh in their face. It's funny. <laughs> double. I mean, sometimes it's a dead card, but I mean. It doesn't hurt. Okay. I love laughing at Burning Abyss plays. I misplay with this. I, I just, uh, uh, double MSC. Yeah. I, I don't like MSC this format, but I see it necessary now that everybody's running vanities. Yeah. So I'm like, double MST is actually very vital to this deck due to me special summoning a lot. So I like double. Two Forbidden Lands. Oh, why? Just shut up. Just to protect my monsters. Like, I, I like this card, but when I have the o when I have, I usually some of my hands, uh, since I'm playing way more spells and traps than monster count, some of my hands I open up with one monster and like all back row. Yeah. So I love having that lance to assure my jelly goes off successfully. Okay. So lance lance is great. I wouldn't play three. I think two is a good number. I usually side this out against like Shadows or something, but it, it's a good number. I like it. Double summon. Okay. This card is amazing. This card. Why is it not high rate? This card. This card is really good. Card. Um, this card, okay, uh, if you want to summon Shadal Window, I'll just uh, activate Double Summon, do my plays, and then summon Tiramisu. And I'll still return you. And then you win. Yeah, and then I win. Okay, good. And then I laugh in their face. And then I get my fifth place match. Which <laughs> I should have got third. I should have got third place, but uh, I won't go into that. All right, uh, Book of Moon. I like Book of Moon too. Cause it's like, it, it, it basically guarantees that my monsters, if I activate it correctly, it guarantees my monsters will get their effect. Mm -hmm. And as well as getting over Winda, which is, I don't, like, my only Shadal matchup today, I didn't see Winda. You only played one Shadal matchup. Yes, I only played one Shadal matchup. Damn, okay, keep on going. Is that bad? I know. Uh, I, I would like to flip Winda face down. I mean, even you got Sinister Shadow games, I don't care. I still flip it down. Um, triple Breakthrough. Why? Because Breakthrough is incredible, this format. I like it. 
Uh, so triple breakthrough, double Phoenix chain. I don't like this card. You don't like effects, do you? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I would add the chalices and everything, but I'm like, I would clog. Like my opponent would scoop immediately if I drew all that. Yeah. So, I, I don't like Phoenix Chain though, like I told you. But I, I think two is alright. Uh, double Vanities. This card is great this format. You can easily play around it mm -hmm. due to me playing Trap Suns as well. So I can just trap some of my vanities when I need it out the way. Turn it off and then yeah, go off. Yeah, turn it off and then go off. And, and then, then there's their problem. And then their turn. Okay, you want to activate Shadow Fusion? Okay, you can't. And you want to summon uh, Altair? And you want to activate his effect to get dinner? up? You can't. And I just laugh in their face. A great card. Trap Sun is great as, as well, too. Mm -hmm. I love Trap Sun. I wouldn't take him out. It's been in my deck for a long time since I got mm -hmm. the deck. One Phoenix Wing. I'm like, paying the cost for Phoenix Wing is, is relevant at that time. But later on, activating Chateau, getting my pluses off of Tiramisu, will make that neg that I got from this actually not a neg. Like, mm -hmm. I, I actually won't be negging after this. So I see, I like this. Phoenix Wing is, is a decent card. I was playing double Divine Wrath last format. Okay. But since Monster, since uh, Shadows were coming out and everything, I said, let me try Phoenix Wing first. Mm -hmm. And I like this card. I won, though. Main deck won. Uh, one Compulse as well. Getting rid of problematic cards. Mm -hmm. One. One soul morning. Uh, I'll take. Uh, just to get rid of stuff. Uh, yeah. One wiretap. I know this is tacky, uh, but it's, it's very one, tacky. It is. It's it's just that one How random wiretap. It? How good was it? It actually put in really good work against vanities sometimes. Cause <laughs> I actually uh, know how to activate my stuff correctly. So okay. the wiretap got off pretty pretty good. Palooza. Uh, what could I say about this card? It's amazing. I, I actually want to play two. I thought about playing a build com uh, completely uh, different from this. Playing Pudding Sess, playing two of these, playing Knights and everything. It was going to be a total Madoche makeover. But then I said... A what? A total Madoche makeover. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then I said, nah, I'm just keeping it original, you know. I'm just keeping it, I'm just keeping it original. So I, I'm just playing one. That was main deck? That's 40 yeah. de cards main deck? 40 cards main deck? Yes. Uh, you can just like scan through the side deck and actually, they just want to see the main deck for the most part. Alright, uh, two lights. Two light prisoners? Yeah, okay. I mean, Satella Knights are stupid. Uh, Baylor. I like Baylor this format. I see it's nice. Uh, my favorite card. How did you like this? I, I want you to explain this. Yeah, Baylor? Yeah, uh, no, no, and the band played on. Uh, this card? This card. I mean, against uh, Satella Knights, it's like, it's like a one turn, like, uh, paralysis, uh, paralysis towards tar them. Mm -hmm. Like it's like you summoned an uh, uh, Altair. Okay, activate effect. I'll chain this. You can't get your Denab. You won't get your plus off of Altair first off, and yeah. then you won't get your plus off of Denab. So this is like a one turn shut off. They'll usually get over it, but I, against the Satellite players I played, they couldn't get over it. Uh, the soonest somebody got over it was like turn their second turn, and. It's a good card. I like it. I mean, I usually it doesn't hurt me because I play level threes and fours. So I'm like, I just play this over vanities when I don't need vanities. Okay. Uh, double Royal Decree. What could I say about this card? This is tacky as well in my extra deck, but I thought I would be uh, doing some uh, chain burn decks, and I felt like if I lost a chain burn, I should just quit Yu-Gi-Oh forever and ever. <laughs> So I was like, Chain Burn, I hate you, and I just put Roller Creek. It's also really good against the uh, Tatelanai matchup, since uh, I don't. Stellar Nova is basically that one problematic card that it's it's like their solemn, uh, it's like their judgment basically. Yeah. I I really don't like that. So I mean, if you in phase once they set five, this they'll probably extend their hand and be like, I'm sorry, bro, you got it. Okay. I like that card. Uh, Triple Shadow Imprisoning. I saw Shadows and Burning Abyss being played, so I was like, Triple Shadow Imprisoning. Won't hurt in the extra Staple now, so. Yeah, triple. Yeah. Um, uh, one Raigeki. Uh, Raigeki is okay. a good side deck card against Rogue decks. Uh, I saw me putting this in against no meta deck. Uh, I put this in against Lightsworn Rulers, and it put in work, honestly. It, it, he mind controlled my monster, uh, went into Lavava Chain and stuff. He had two monsters. I Raigeki. Mm -hmm. Uh, my monster was engraved since it was used as an overlay, and then I summon Hu Kate, use my own stuff. I really like Raigeki. Uh, it's a good card. Uh, another Phoenix Wing. Uh, same stuff. Why not? Uh, this is a random Cursed Seal that I'm never ever playing in my life. I'm taking this <laughs> out, and I'm probably burning all my copies of Cursed Seal. 
Uh, I put this in one time and it never resolved. I never see it. This car is why? Why Konami? Why, why make this car? Uh, it did not, uh, cause I never actually had the spell card to allow it to resolve, even though I searched like double chat tiles and stuff. So uh, the reason I added this in the be uh, to begin with was because like Messenger Gelato can just search for doubles. Like if I don't need a ticket, I can search for another ticket and just pitch it as cost for this. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> I, I like that. Uh, but it's a bad card. Don't play this guys ever in your life, ever. Burn all your copies. They make good fire for your, for your uh, chimney and stuff. Uh, this. Wow. Uh, you, you can just say wow. This wow. Is, wow. Okay. Uh, everybody's gonna probably say, oh man, this is deck. But y'all gotta learn. Uh, Flying C hurts his deck. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Flying C hurts his deck. So I was like, I'm gonna play this. to count. I, I, I know people are gonna put Flying C against me. Okay. So, uh, and uh, putting sets isn't really a bad card. The reason people don't play her is because she's level five. That's the only reason. Cause she's a good card. I I, I like her. I only sided in her once, but it okay. resolved successfully. I like her. What about this extra deck, real quick? Okay. Uh, yeah. Double tier Misus. Yeah. Uh, double Levieres. <coughs> double Castells. One Ghost Trick Alucard. One uh D Diamond Dire Wolf. <coughs> One Abyss Dweller, one Ragnar Zero. I thought there was gonna be Fire Fist, a lot of Fire Fist. I, I didn't do well. no, I didn't do no Fire Fist. So I was like, this will probably come out. I, I don't know. It's it still remains in there. I'm guessing it. It's an it's an alright card. A Rhapsody. A lot of effects activate in the grave. So Rhapsody. Uh, so you you're playing Satellanites and you know you pitch out you pitch Denab with a. Uh, Ukulele. I'll banish your dinner. You ain't getting that shit back. You ain't getting that shit back. No, never. Ever. Never ever. Okay. Ever. <clears throat> cowboy. Uh, I used to not play Cowboy. Why? And why? Why? Because my deck, I used to play the OTK build and, like uh, with uh, Spell Strikers and stuff. So I was like, why need the Cowboy? I don't need that extra 800. And then one time I was dueling this other guy and we were dueling for like top place and I lost and during time, uh, during sudden death, because I didn't have Cowboy. Wow. And I could have made Cowboy first turn. I had the Mufilo and Jelly stuff. And mm -hmm. I, after that day, I, I was like, I gotta play Cowboy. That's what's up. I don't get OT because OT is ugly. Okay. And plus, that's a bitch rising. Uh, 101. I, I see 101. I don't use him as much, but I still like getting your title and stuff. When, when you have your title on the field, I still like getting that. Making sure. I could Castella back, sure. But you know, 101 still pokes by that extra 200. Uh, make sure your right Gaku won't hit something. It yeah. will still remain on the card. Exitonite. Um, this deck, I usually have a lot of uh, card advantage, but there's times where I won't. And Exiton Knight uh, is helpful at that time. Okay. And Invoker. Invoker's good, though I barely go into him, but he's still a good card. That's what's up. I like him. Well, thank you for this deck profile, and congratulations yeah. on getting fifth with thank the Dolce. That's awesome. God bless your profile. I want to give a shout out to uh, <laughs> my team, Ant Top of Game, okay. and my friend Jeremy. Uh, Demari, all, all of my friends, all these people are behind Kool-Aid man, nice to meet They always make fun of me because when I started Yu-Gi-Oh, I used to go Cowboy first turn and they see me now and <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm starting. That's my little eagle buddy. I'm like, I started from the bottom and now I'm at the top. Exactly so, made it. Yeah, I started from the bottom and now I'm at the top. So that's all I got to say. Well, good shit. Well, until next time, guys. I'm speaking with the car, guys. Thank you again. All right, man. See you Watch later. this video. Like, rate, subscribe, whatever. Okay.